I'm here to show you 17 skills that are hard to learn but we pay off forever and we're starting right now. What's going on? My name is Gino Safa with Go for Growth Media. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to grow your business, build your business influence, increase your revenue base, and other YouTube related stuff, then consider subscribing so you don't miss out on anything. The best thing to learn in life may be free, but that doesn't mean they won't take time, sweat, and perseverance to acquire. That's especially the case when it comes to learning important life skills. To ascertain which talents are worth the investment, I have put together what are the hardest and most useful skills to learn that will pay off forever. And they are one, empathy. You can be the most disciplined, brilliant, and even wealthy individual in the world. But if you don't care for or empathize with other people, then you are basically nothing but a sociopath. Empathy is the fundamental human abilities that has been foreseen by modern businesses. You need the ability to feel what others feel. That is what makes good sales and services. Empathy as in team spirit is what we refer to as esprit de corps. It motivates people to try harder. Two, mastering your sleep. There are so many prescribed sleep hacks out there, often hard to keep track. But regardless of what you choose, establishing a ritual can help ensure you have a restful night. Numerous studies show that being consistent with your sleep schedule makes it easier to fall asleep and wake up. And it helps promote better sleeps in general. 3. Time Management Effective time management is one of the most highly valued skills by employers. While there is no right way, it's important to find a system that works for you and stick to rates. 4. Asking for help It is a moral concept that you ask what you want and he will give you. It is not a form of laziness, but a purpose of seeking assistance. I was once told in the job interview that I can't have the job if I can't uh, ask for help when I needed it. But naturally I said yes, I could. Later I found out that the previous person with that job had screwed up big time because he was overheaded but couldn't admit it and didn't ask for help. Knowing when you need help and then asking for it is surprisingly difficult to learn and do because no one wants to be perceived as weak or incompetent. But asking for help makes you look more capable. When you ask people for advice, you validate your intelligence or expertise, which makes you more likely to win them over. Number five, positive self-talk. Ultimately, it doesn't matter what others think of you, but what you think of yourself certainly does. And it takes time to build that level of confidence and ability to believe in yourself when nobody else does. On the other side of the positive talk is negative self-talk, which is believed to slowly chip away your confidence. Six, consistency. Whether you are trying a new exercise routine, studying for examination, or working on an important project, consistency is vital to maintaining any kind of success. People often stop working hard when they reach the top, 
But to maintain that top position, they have to work harder and be more consistent in their work. Seven, minding your business. It takes ages to learn and master this. Sticking your nose into other people's work isn't helpful and wastes time and resources. You have no right to put forth your nose or your mouth into other people's uh, issue. Even if you are the last righteous person standing, you have no right. Eight, listening. Along with shutting up comes listening. Most of us in the workplaces are so overwhelmed with things to do. Instant messaging, phones ringing, I mean, our brains can only tolerate so much information before it gets snaps. One tip for active listening is repeating back what you had to another person. It makes things so much easier when everyone is on the same page. Number nine, knowing when to shut up and actually doing it. You can't go around whining about every other thing that seems not so right to you in this world. Sometimes you just need to shut up. There are many instances when keeping to yourself is the best cause. When we are angry, upset, agitated or vexed, we bloat out anything and everything that comes to our mind. And later we tend to regret it. Keeping your mouth shut when you are agitated is one of the most valuable skills to learn and of course one of the most difficult. Number 10. Resisting gossip. The most important thing in life to me is relationship. And the most important things about building and keeping good relationship is trust. One of the easiest ways to lose trust is to gossip about people behind their back. Learning not to gossip is hard to do because it means missing out on possible important conversations, distancing yourself from influential people and awkwardly having to tell people, hey, sorry to interrupt, but I really don't need to know that. Could we talk about something else? But press on and you will get your priceless award, trust. 11. Staying present in the moment. We tend not to be very good at staying present in the moment. 47% of the time people are thinking about something other than what they are currently doing. And this is hurting our happiness. People are less happy when they are mind wandering, no matter what they are doing. 13. Mastering your thoughts. To do what you want to do and accomplish what you want to accomplish, you need to consciously direct your thinking. The challenge is that we are the product of our past experience and all of our thinking is the result of this. However, the past does not equal the future. So hold on it. And 14, learning new language. This case won't just open you up to new conversations and professional opportunities. Mastering English has been an incredible gift in many people's life. They received a new mindset, new set of emotions, and a new way of thinking. The same could be said of learning any new language. The key to learning another language is to master every bit of the culture. No easy feast but surely a worthwhile pursuit. 15. Public speaking. Speaking up in public can be so hard for many of us. 
Even the American's business magnate, Warren Buffett, said that he was once so terrified of speaking in public that he would throw up. In fact, I arranged my life so that I never had to get up in front of anybody. It took practicing giving speeches numerous times in front of people to finally conquer fear. Some of it is just doing it and practicing, Buffett said, and it's worked. That's the most important degree I have, said Buffett. And 16, honesty with others. Being completely honest with others can be awkward, but just because you don't have anything nice to say that doesn't mean you shouldn't say it facebook co shared sandbag is a proponent for radical candor which is feedback that lies at the intersection of caring about people personally and being willing to piss them off when practicing radical candor Use the acronyms HHIPP to remember radical candor. It is humble, helpful, immediate, in person, and it doesn't personalize. And finally, number 17 is honesty with yourself. Admitting when you are wrong is the toughest even ceos of major companies admit to making mistakes the worst mistake to me though is you don't learn from your mistakes there is no greater sin than to not learn from it therefore i have put together this piece so that you actually know that these things exist and that they are achievable with commitment and determination. So if you've gone through it, you've listened to it, please give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to comment on the link below. Ask questions as to how I should improve in my content creation. And please don't forget to subscribe if you want me to show more of this in my subsequent videos thank you and i'll see you next time